Look at the time, it's late o'clock with Rob Hunter. Rob Hunter. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage our first guest, Samuel Johnson. Welcome, Sam. Thanks so, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Yeah, great. Do you want me to take your water off you? Very unprofessional. Firstly, um, the first thing I want to mention, a lot of people will know you from your acting career, um, but I just want to make mention of your tireless charity work raising money for cancer. So. You scumbag. It's, it's to f try to find a cure for it, Greg. <laughs> D disregard. Okay. Um, and you've in fact raised millions of dollars through loveyoursister.org, which is very impressive. Can I get a round of applause for Samuel's charity work? But uh, like I mentioned, most of us probably know you from your TV roles, uh, the most respected of which is arguably your role as the voiceover man promoting Hungry Jack's hamburgers. <laughs> um, and as a special treat, I made you a little gift. Um, I made you a graph. And what this is, this is, um, this is a graph representing the number of people you've potentially saved with your charity fundraising. <laughs> Measured against the people you've almost certainly seriously harmed health-wise <laughs> with your uh, <laughs> hamburger promotion. <laughs> so I just explain this for people up the back. This is pe people, people in millions. Um, this is you in the in the hat. Um, but like you can see, you've still got a pretty decent margin between the two, so no need to feel horribly guilty just yet. So, so. That's just for your interest there. Thanks. Anyway, uh, let's talk about your career a little bit. You've been in heaps of classic shows. You were in Home and Away, Secret Life of Us. Uh, more recently, you had the lead in a miniseries called Molly, and of course, your starring role as the African-American man in Snakes on a Plane and Pulp Fiction. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> um, you also have, uh, you've got an AFI award and Order of Australia, all of which is very impressive in theory. But um, I'll be honest with you, Sam, I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Okay, I didn't invite you here to talk about those things. The reason I invited you here is because I wanted to very publicly and to your face just say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> why, why, why I, don't know, you say that? I don't know who you think you are, but Greg told me what happened, and frankly, your attitude disgusts me. What are you, talk okay? what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Greg told me, Greg's a big fan of you. Greg is a big fan of you, and he saw you on the street about three weeks ago, and he asked for an autograph, and you told him to piss off. So I don't care who you are or how horrible a person he is. That is no way to treat fans. Uh, so, Rob. Rob look at him. He's going to have a shit life, all right? If he ever finds a living girlfriend, she's going to be a two, maybe. You've got to look after people like this. Rob, sir. Rob, I actually... What? Like, that's not him. That's, that's, it's a different, it was a different guy. I've got, got it completely confused. That's, well, that's not the guy. Are you sure? Because uh, I've said some pretty nasty things just now. <laughs> yeah, I'm 100% I'm certain, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, you need to watch yourself anyway. <laughs> Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get to know you a little bit better. Um, I got to level with you, Sam. Um, I wrote a lot of these questions assuming you had been mean to Greg. But if I cut them out, the interview will be too short. So 
Do you mind if we just plough through some of these very quickly and then move on to something else? Sure. It's uh, very generous of you. Okay, so uh, I have an idea for a new TV show for you. It's all about you and your secret life. Uh, it's called Shit TV Show. Um, uh, do you know what I think would help your career? What? Finding some other career. <laughs> Oh, um, do you like card tricks? Yeah. Samuel Johnson, more like Samuel Big Dummy. Some of these are better than others. Um, oh, and uh, finally, I challenge you. Sure. To what? A giant shithead competition, you win. Ah, thanks, Sam. That's very generous of you. Um, uh, and that actually brings us to an exciting new part of the show. Bree and I have been very much looking forward to this. Uh, we have a brand new segment making its debut on Late O'Clock this evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the Late O'Clock quiz. Hit our theme song, Teddy. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 the quiz show. <laughs> so, this is very exciting. And while Greg sets some things up, uh, over there, I should explain that this is a chance uh, not just for us to have fun, but um, also a lucky member of the audience uh, who has the chance to win $500 and dinner with Samuel. Uh, uh, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't talk about that. Did we? So to find our lucky contestants, uh, all you need to do is look for the lucky cardboard star that I've hidden under a chair in the crowd. So if you want to look under your chairs now, see if you're the lucky person who could win a fabulous prize. That, uh, that could be under anyone's chair. Anyone in the room. That could, that could be under anyone's chair. <laughs> Put your hand under your chair. Very good. And we have our contestants. I'll take that. What's your name, little girl? Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome, Samuel, and good luck. So let's just get things started. Question one. We'll start out, we'll start out with a nice, easy one. Uh, Sam, pick a number between 1 and 10 and say it out loud. 3. Wrong! <laughs> um, yeah, I, I should explain. There are consequences for incorrect responses. <laughs> so maybe think about your answers before saying something that's obviously wrong. Um, the correct answer there was 7.4 for anyone playing along. So. Question two. This is a hypothetical. There are two coloured balls in a box, a red one and a blue one. What percentage chance do you have of picking out the red ball? 50%. Wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, again, you're not concentrating. Um, the correct answer there is 100% chance. You just take them both out. So. <laughs> One is certain to be the red ball. That is basic science. Um, it's a good thing you're an actor and not something useful. <laughs> um. uh, here's a nice, easy one. Who starred as the lead character Molly in the recent Channel 7 miniseries, Molly? Is 
Samuel Johnson. That's correct. Well done. Sorry about that. I uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Security, you need to do a better job about that, boy. Howdy. Gosh. So, sorry, Sam. And uh, final question. If I give you three eggs and Greg gives you three eggs, how many eggs do you have in total, nice and loud, into the microphone? <laughs> Six. I'm afraid that's wrong, Sam, because I think you'll find roosters don't lay eggs. <laughs> you, did, <laughs> you, didn't say, you didn't say rooster, dude. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not what you said, rooster. The good news is the punishment for that one is just a little bop over the head of the pillow. So, Greg, you know. <laughs> What the hell is in that? It, I didn't have a pillow, so I just filled it with Christmas ornaments. <laughs> anyway, that brings us to the end of the quiz. Uh, you know, outro theme song, Teddy. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da, that was the quiz. Uh, so I just push um, stop or this button here. Fucking hell, Greg. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Thanks so much for being on the show. You didn't win anything in the quiz, but before you go, the good news is there's still a chance to go home with something. You can have your guest payment that I have uh, in this envelope that I promised you. You said 150 bucks in the email. I did, yes. You said around 150. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go home with that, or you can risk it all for what's in this box. <laughs> Audience? I'll take that, I'll take the cash flow. I need the money. I fucking need the money, man. Seriously, like I'm fucking broke. Um, I want nobody, the money, man. It, like. nobody, nobody takes, there's nothing in the envelope. Take the fucking box. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. He's taking the box. <laughs> Just open that up. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> There's <probably> nothing in it. <laughs> You've won uh, Greg's diabetes medication. What? Um, oh, what? Greg is a big fan of you, and basically only eats hamburgers based on your recommendation. Uh. And I thought I thought you might, might want to take his life-saving vital medicine and speed up the process you've started with his health and just you know, finish him off now. Samuel Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. That was a time it was late o'clock with Rob Hunter. Hunter.